Good morning. Welcome to day 21, last day of our third week. And we're in the dining room. We just had our breakfast. And um, I just wanted to show you something. I mean, this is a neat room. I know I showed it to you yesterday in the tapestries, but I loved that, that armoire over there. And I was sitting here eating breakfast, looking through this book. And I'm like, hmm, this looks like a really new book. I started flipping through, flipping through, flipping through. And I don't remember what page it was on. It wasn't, it was pretty quick though. And I was actually sitting right here at this table. There it is. And I, and I saw it. I'm like, wait a second. I recognize that. And then that's the table that I'm actually sitting at right now. So whoever made this book about the uh, Camino, yeah. Yeah, I took pictures here. That is really awesome. Anyway, it's a short day today, so uh, getting started a little later. We'll probably look around the grounds a little more. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play chess. Looks like something happened to one of the kings. Yeah, the king is now black king as a, a log. But, uh, we did meet another pilgrim last night. We didn't know we were going to meet anybody. It was somebody we haven't met yet. She's uh, another Dutch person. Um, yeah, look at that. This is just a beautiful place. Definitely need to come back here someday. So we're headed back to the trail. We never did come over and see this building. It's a little ways from the castle. I mean, the castle is back behind that building, which we don't know what it is either, but this one has a grand entrance, so it looks like it might be used for something. Events, I know they have weddings here. Ah, a little stuffy today, but the cold's going away, so the stuffiness is good. I'm just cough <coughs> <coughs> coughing and hacking up a bunch of stuff. Can we see inside? Eh, not really. Yeah, I would definitely say this is a great place for receptions and stuff. The door was open, so we decided to, to take a look. This is, uh, this place was great. Coming up on our first uh, small village after the chateau. Uh, I didn't see a name. I mean, there probably was one. <coughs> we just didn't see it. Um, it's only been about 90 minutes. Going a little slow today. And we slept great in the castle. It was awesome. But we're just feeling a little, a little weak today. This cold is, uh, is taking it out of us. But we're still moving along. We're not going very far. We only probably have about 19 kilometers to go from now. So that's only about four and a half hours of walking. So we'll still probably get there early. But who knows? We might take a break now because, yeah, I'm a little tired. Haven't filmed much today. I mean, it's only been like two hours. But this place right here coming up is pretty neat. I could totally live there. I can't live in that castle. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. Can I get a picture of that? Oh yeah, for sure. In the woods right now, but we've had actually quite a bit of sun today. And it's actually, you know, we didn't talk about it yesterday really. I mean, we did a little bit. Um, but yeah, the temperatures are, you know, more 70s now. And uh, at least the last two days, not a whole lot of wind. Yesterday, though, we had quite a bit of shade. Today, not as much, though. Right now, it's very nice that we do have some shade because Rob is very lethargic. I mean, he just stopped and had lunch, hoping he would get some energy from that. And Nope, it's just uh, his body is is tired. His cold is, is <clears throat> holding on to him. So uh, we're just taking it easy. Probably got about another four miles to go. And uh, so, yeah. Might take us two hours, but that's okay. Unfortunately, I don't remember the name of this village that I just walked into. Um, that's the Meiri. But I just stepped into a bar that just happened to be open at this point. And the, the nice woman had shells in the window. She accept pilgrims for, you know, for whatever they need. It was great. I met a nice Dutch gentleman. I think I said that anyway, he, who spoke a lot of English. It's, I'm still dead. I have no energy whatsoever. Well, it was a very nice respite before the last uh, last two miles or so to our stop. And we should be getting there about right on time. And then she walked me to the street and said, go this way and follow the bike path. It'll follow along the river. It'll be a very small, small way. And it'll take you right to Musina, which is where we're going. Oops, let me get the TV on really loud. Not snowing, but there is a lot of pollen in the air. Woo, look at all this. I don't even know what kind of trees those come from, but it is all over the place. 
Oh, looks like we're gonna make it. That's our town over there, Musidan. We've been following this uh, bike path for a while. It's been on road, off road. I guess it's a car path now too, because here comes a car. Wow, what timing, Rob? Impeccable. Only got about a kilometer to go. Oh, he's he's turning off. Um, but yeah, the actually the kind Dutch gentleman who lives in Marburg, Germany, and uh, Saint Louis. Uh, something to Leo France he has two houses um, offered to give me a ride to Musidan and you know about an hour or two ago when I just couldn't move at all I probably would have taken him up on it because yeah I, I, mean, I still have no energy but I can see the end in sight I thanked him very much and and, and we're there and as we head into uh, Musidan there's something there about Great Britain um, I don't know what that means but the Dutchman and I did speak of, uh, there are many English people that live in this part of France. And I've met quite a few actually. The guy that owned the bar that put ice in his milk, who made me an English breakfast. The lovely couple that owned Le Ferme, Le Moulin Mou. And there's actually, we have been quite a few. This is a, a British area of France. I mean, there's lots of French too, 